One of the basic elements of any negligence claim is that the defendant has a legal duty to the plaintiff. Tennessee's highest court considered whether a doctor had a duty to warn a deceased patient's wife about the risk of exposure to the non-contagious tick-borne disease that took her husband in Bradshaw v. Daniel. Elmer Johns went to the emergency room one day with symptoms of headaches, muscle aches, fever, and chills. Dr. Chalmers Daniel, Jr. treated Elmer for Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, or RMSF, a tick-borne disease that can be fatal without early detection and prompt treatment. Unfortunately, it was too late to save Elmer, and he died the next day. With the help of an autopsy, the Center for Disease Control confirmed a few months later that the cause of death was RMSF. Although Dr. Daniel had spoken with Elmer's wife, Genevieve, during the course of her husband's treatment, he never warned Genevieve about the risk of exposure to RMSF or explained that the disease was the likely cause of death. A week after losing her husband, Genevieve went to a different emergency room with similar symptoms, including fever, chills, mental disorientation, and nausea. Like Elmer, Genevieve was treated for RMSF, but she died just a few days later. Genevieve's son, William Bradshaw, sued Dr. Daniel, alleging that his negligent failure to warn Genevieve about the risk of exposure proximately caused her death. Two experts for Bradshaw testified that although RMSF is non-contagious, it has a clustering effect that puts family members living together at greater risk of contracting it. The trial court denied Dr. Daniel's motion for summary judgment, but granted an interlocutory appeal on the duty to warn issue. The Court of Appeals concluded that Dr. Daniel had no duty to warn Genevieve under the circumstances, and Bradshaw appealed to the Tennessee Supreme Court.